What's going on, Canes fans, and welcome to episode number four of Walking and Venting with Coop. As always, it's exactly what it sounds like it is. I'm walking along the edge of my property and venting about a hot topic when it comes to the Miami Hurricanes. And boy, do we have a juicy hot one today. And well, it literally, the, the sun is beating down. It's, it's literally a hot one today. And before you type your comment, go ahead and delete it. Yeah, wait, I'll wait a second. Go ahead. Delete, delete the comment you were typing. Are we good? Are we good? Are you going to actually watch the video instead of just looking at the title? Wipe that comment out. Listen to what I have to say first. Then leave your comment. Do not fire head coach Manny Diaz right now. You want to know why? I'm going to go ahead and be blunt and put it out there. Because Blake James is still employed at the University of Miami. He is still currently our athletic director. And firing Manny Diaz, if we do it now, is only fixing part of the problem. Because at the end of the day, if we fire Manny right now, not even halfway through the season just yet, who's going to be leading the search looking for our new head coach? Blake James. So let's let's dive a little bit deeper into this and let's let's actually discuss it. I wanted to be point blank though and up front at the beginning of it because I knew that so many people were going to be typing up comments to it without actually watching. So I wanted to go ahead and get it out of the way. So I personally feel like that firing Manny Diaz right now would probably do more harm than good because number one, I don't think that Manny has quite lost the locker room just yet. Uh, there's been some controversial stuff that's going on. Uh, we saw at the end of the game last week, we saw Sam Brooks tweet out a peace sign Nobody really ever knew truly what that meant, other than maybe he's just upset he's not getting enough playing time, or maybe he's getting frustrated with this coaching staff, maybe Manny specifically, since you know he is coaching up the defense. Uh, but I don't think that Manny has lost the locker room just yet. And I say that because in the Virginia game, even though we lost, the players continued to fight throughout the game. And that's something that in the past, we saw kind of there towards the end with Rick and with Golden and coaches in the past that the team would have just laid down and quit. And as much as it still sucks to lose and I'm, I'm not happy with the team, let's keep it real and be honest, the team did continue to fight for all four quarters, especially a lot of those younger guys. And I think that if Manny hasn't quite lost the locker room yet, you know, that's kind of the nail in the coffin, right? If the players don't respect the coach anymore, they full on just given up. You can tell during the game that they just want nothing to do with playing for this guy. Then you you kind of the hand is forced, right? You gotta fire the dude because these players are not gonna play for him. They don't respect him. And even though things have been ugly and it's been bad, and I feel like Manny is actually too much of a player's coach. You know, he he's not good enough with discipline. Uh, he's more of a hey, I'm your best bud versus, you know, I'm, I'm a coach who's going to try to help you with your future and, and discipline you and train you hard. Uh, I still feel like that firing him now, then you would kind of lose the team. In my personal opinion, I could be wrong. Uh, number two, why I don't want to fire Manny Diaz right now, I already said it, Blake James. Uh, Blake James has been our athletic director since 2013, I believe. Uh, since Blake James has been our athletic director, who have our head coaches been? Uh, let me think, let me think. Al Golden. Now, uh, Blake James didn't hire Al Golden because I believe Golden came in before that, but Blake James was still the athletic director for part of the time while Al Golden was here. Mark Rick and... Manny Diaz, and I don't count the Larry Scott thing with the interim head coach, you know, while Golden was fired after the Clemson game. So not not the best coaches uh, that we've had in a while. I mean, Mark Rick, you know, we had the run. He donated the money for the indoor practice facility and whatnot, but uh, that was still kind of eh, you know. Um, at the end of the day, either way, 
Blake James is an athletic director that does not care that much about football. As much as he might pretend like he does, and as much as he might go to games and he puts on this face and, you know, he, he tweets out this stuff and writes these letters, which that was Julio Frank that wrote the letter, right? But as much as he wants to pretend like he cares, Blake James doesn't give a dang about football at the University of Miami. He doesn't care. He literally, the only reason why I feel like he even does anything or responds to any of the stuff from fans, the heat and whatnot, is to get everybody off his back. I think that he's fine with, uh, here comes super loud motorcycles. Honestly, honestly, Blake James is okay with eight, eight to 10 win seasons and nothing more than that. He's perfectly fine with that. And is that the guy? Is that the guy that you guys want leading our search looking for our next head coach? Is that the guy? Because I don't want anything to do with him looking for our next head coach. And if we fire Manny right now, Blake James is still here. He's going to be the guy that's going to be working on finding the next guy. And I don't trust him to drop the bag on a proven head coach. Blake James is not going to bring in Mario Cristobal. Blake James is not going to bring in Lane Kiffin. Now, if you don't like either one of those, come on, bro. Come on. Uh, but no, real talk, though, <laughs> he's not going to bring in a proven head coach with experience that wants, you know, $5 million plus a year. What's Manny get, like three or four? Something like that. So no way I want to go ahead and fire Manny right now with Blake James still here because we have bigger problems. we got to start at the top. Everybody's flying the banners, gassing up the planes, fire Manny Diaz. How about gas up the planes and let's get a, a fire Blake James. Then we'll can Manny. Then we'll go through and rebuild with an athletic director that cares about football, that cares about sports and wants to see us back on top again. So that's my second reason. Uh, so locker room, Blake James is still here. Uh, do I really even need to say more than that? Um, I mean, I guess the third reason would maybe be uh, the buyout. I mean, it's going to cost, what's Manny still got left? Like it would be eight or nine million to buy out Manny Diaz. Now at the end of the day, bro, that ain't my money. I ain't got that kind of money anyway. So it ain't me. This dropping eight or nine million to buy him out. But uh, I can see why we would want to ride it out purely for the money aspect. Uh, at the end of the day, if it's going to be Blake James that's searching, going ahead and firing him now, to me, is not a good idea, middle of the season. So then if we go ahead and fire him now, we also have to pay more in the buyout, which is less money to spend on the next head coach, right? So money is also a part. Uh, Miami does have a lot more money than we like to pretend like we do, like we say we do, just because, again, sports is not the number one priority, so we just don't want to drop the bag. So it's it's as simple as saying, well, Canes fans, we ain't got the money, so we got the best that we can get. And they know that when you bring in a head coach, guys, regardless of who it is, if it's a big-time head coach or not, there's always this renewed sense of hope you guys know what i mean you we felt it with manny we felt it with mark rick we felt it with golden there's always this new hype this everything is gonna be okay there's a guy coming in with a totally different mindset he's gonna turn this program around and they know that they know that even if it's if it's not a proven guy they can bring somebody in and it will calm the fans down for a little bit because everybody's all hyped up and has this new sense of hope so no, I do not think that we should fire Manny Diaz right now as upset and as sick as I am with this season. I mean, we would bump up Jess Simpson to interim head coach and then a new coaching search would begin with Blake James and Julio Frank if he got involved, even though I don't even know if Julio Frank knows what a football is. But um, I, I wanted to say also two things, two things really quick. Number one, if you see any GoFundMes out there asking for donations to fire Manny Diaz, don't donate to those. It's a scam because that's number one, that's not how it works. Uh, the fans don't just raise money and, and show up at the University of Miami with uh, a Brinks truck and suitcases and say, 
We want the head coach fired. We just showed up with $10 million. Fire him. Guys, be real. That's not the way it works. The person who's created the GoFundMe gets all the money. Number two, I'm not calling anyone out specifically. I promise you I'm not. But I see it all over YouTube and Twitter and Facebook. Be careful who you listen to when it comes to breaking news or inside information or somebody who has sources. Because people are always saying that they know something. Everybody wants to to be the first one to break it. Everybody wants to have information that no one else has. And I've told you guys in the past, I'm not an insider. I'm not a breaking news channel and I don't claim to be. Do I have uh, people at the University of Miami that text me? Do I have current players on the team that message me, DM me and text me? I do, yeah. But I choose for the most part to just keep all that information to myself because they can be wrong too. Not everybody has your best interest in mind, and not everybody is right all the time either. They think they know something, and they don't. So, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people be like, man, he was already fired. Well, right at this time anyways, on uh, Monday, October, whatever the heck it is today, Manny has not been fired. And like I said, I'm uh, I'm not trying to call anyone out specifically. I'm just saying you have to watch because you be careful getting up on these, these hype trains. And, you know, riding with these people and being like, bro, but they know somebody. Bro, just be real, all right? I, I like to wait till something official drops. We know it's legit. Then we'll release it and we'll talk about it. And I didn't make the point of players texting me and messaging me to boast. You guys have seen it. I, back in the day, guys, I, I was playing Fortnite with Jaquan Johnson and Sheldrick Redwine. Uh, and DJ Dallas and Rillis George when he was a fullback at Miami for a year or two. Um, so, yes, I do stay in contact with a lot of the current players. But like I said, I'm not saying it to boast. I'm saying it because I'm letting you know that people do send me stuff. People try to help me out, and I appreciate them. But even when people message me and try to give me breaking information or inside info, I'm not going to put it out there. I'm going to wait till it's legit, it goes down, and we know what happens. So I just don't think that right now firing Manny Diaz is the right thing. Uh, A lot of people are going to say that Mike Brown is going to get Manny Diaz fired a second time, that he's going to get just absolutely spanked against North Carolina, and there's a very good possibility that it does happen. (laughs) A very good possibility. But I think that they're going to try to ride out Manny Diaz staying here either way unless we just consistently get spanked. So... You know, the team continued to show fight for Manny and, and just overall in general, just grit in the Virginia game. And even though we lost, and even though Canes fans aren't happy, myself included, they're going to see that as a reason to continue to let Manny Diaz stay here. So, you know, we come out, if, Virgin- if uh, North Carolina spanks us, there'll be some more heat under the seat. But then if we come out the next week after that and we win, or it's at least close, they're going to say, you know what? We'll ride it out. We'll stick it out for a little bit longer. And that's, I, I don't have it, like I said, I'm not trying to say I have any inside information. That's just my gut feeling. That That's Coop's gut feeling, is that they want to try their hardest, regardless of whatever's going down, to keep Manny until the end of the year. That's going to be what the plan is because that just makes the most sense. Just use your brain. They don't want to fire him midseason for all sorts of reasons i can sit here and give you guys a long list and as much as i do think we need to rework manny needs to be gone just as much as manny needs to be gone blake james needs to be gone too he's been here nine years that's long enough bro at this point that is long flipping enough so in my opinion do not fire manny diaz right now until blake james is gone because we're going to end up in the same crap that we keep finding ourselves in year after year until we get a competent athletic director that cares about sports most most importantly football let's be honest guys right most most importantly football yeah you're shaking your head most importantly football then what's the point what's the point in going ahead and cutting manny out of here so we can bump up Jess Simpson and Blake James can look for another failure of a head coach for this football program. 
Maybe you can prove me wrong in the comment section. Maybe you can tell me, well, Coop, it affects recruiting. I Cannon Manny and bringing in an interim head coach that won't continue to be our head coach while an incompetent athletic director talks about potential head coaching candidates that are not big time proven head coaches is also going to affect recruiting. We ain't going to bring in nobody with that kind of talk and with those things going down. So, no, bro. I just, it's this, it's not, it's, it doesn't make the most sense to do it right now. It just doesn't. And I know you guys don't want to hear it. But I'm going to keep ranting and rambling on. We're going on, what, 15 and a half minutes, and you guys don't watch them past 10 minutes. Don't lie to me. If you watch the video to this point, I want you to leave in your comment, regardless of what it is, Coop, I watched the whole video. I, I want to see. This is, a little, this is a little test. The real OGs. The real OGs. If you put in there that you watched it to this point, you say, Coop, 16 minutes. Here it comes. Here it comes. 16 minutes. Boom. Right there. You can be like, Coop, I watched it to that point to where you said to leave a comment. And I'll be like, you are the real deal, bro. You are family to me because you actually watch the videos. You listen to me. Rant. That's what these videos are. This whole series is me wa it's walking and venting with Coop. It's me walking and venting, and we talk about hot topics. I know this is a hot one because people are going to say, Coop, I can't believe you don't want Manny fired. I do want Manny fired, but I don't want Manny fired right now, not when we got an incompetent athletic director that doesn't put football first looking for our next head coach because it sets us up for failure once again. Leave you guys' comments down below. Let me know how you feel about this. Tell me why I'm right and you agree with me. Tell me why you're wrong and you disagree with me. Some of you guys, when you disagree with me, you bring up some really good points, and I like it. That's the point of these videos, is to just talk it out. At the end of the day, we all want what's best for the program, and that's to win another national championship and to be back on top. We all just have different ideas of how to get there. So remember, guys, we're all one big happy college football family. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. And yes, guys, I realize this this was uploaded a day late. These new episodes are supposed to be on Sundays. Today's Monday, but I've been moving. Things have been crazy. They've been wild. It's a bye week. Uh, so love you guys. Peace out. I'll see you in the next one.